What's up guys, today is moving day. That's right, today we're packing up the truck to make our second move to Florida. I got up early because I had to run some errands and I had to pick up our 26 foot U-Haul that we're using to move our entire household. It's crazy to think that we've narrowed down our belongings enough to be able to fit everything that we own inside of this truck. If you're new to our channel, first off, welcome. We are a family with now six children who are making our second move to the Sunshine State from Wisconsin. We give you all sorts of tips and tricks to help you with your move to Florida, as well as show you all sorts of fun things there are to do in the state. So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe down below, hit the bell so you don't miss any of our uploads or when we go live to answer your questions. Now let's start moving. Sunshine, blue skies, it's a state of mind that we came to find. I'm talking about Paul. Our entire life getting loaded up into this truck. Lindsay and the kids will be driving down in our ride. And I'm gonna be the captain of this beauty. A couple things that are way different on this move than our last move is the last time we moved, it was the middle of February and I think it was like negative 20 out with the wind chill. This time we're moving the day before Thanksgiving and it's actually pretty pleasant now. I think it's in the low 40s. Another key difference is last time we had movers doing the move, this time we're moving ourselves and it's a lot more work, guys. If you're going to move yourself, it's so important, guys, to fill every available space with something. I'm talking all the way from the floor, all the way up to the ceiling. You wanna find something to fit every open space. The last thing you wanna do is get to the end of the truck and still have way too much stuff left that's not gonna fit. And just like that, magic, it's the next day. We have the truck loaded, although it was quite a pain in the butt and we actually had to leave some things behind, not everything fit. But it is Thanksgiving day. We are here at the gas station um, pumping some gas, about ready to get out of town. We got a late start. We wanted to leave about seven and I think it's like 8.30 now. Um, but I'm already $90 into gas and we haven't even left yet. It's pretty fitting that it's snowing here in Wisconsin this morning, so Kids get to see the last snowfall um, and who knows how long next time we get back here maybe it'll be snowing who knows Brody and I are in the big 26 foot U-Haul Lindsay and the kids are in tow here in our Suburban and here we go we're off okay so we're on the highway <laughs> we're hoping it's just the road and not the U-Haul but we're shaking back and forth violently <laughs> we're hoping <laughs> This doesn't do this the whole ride because that's going to really be annoying, isn't it, Brody? Yeah. Current driving conditions. So I mentioned earlier that we had to leave uh, some of our stuff back home. I guess we underestimated how much stuff we have. And as we were loading the truck, we got to the end and not all of it fit. So. In the end, stuff is just stuff. You can replace stuff. The important thing is uh, we're all doing this journey together as a family and each other is really all that we need. But we were loading the truck and cleaning the house until about 10.30 p.m. last night. We stayed in a hotel in town, tried to get some rest. The plan was that we were gonna get up and leave at 7 a.m. We didn't actually get to leave town after we fueled up and everything until about 8.30 a.m. It's now 10.30 a.m. and we're probably about 45 minutes out from Rockford, Illinois. Um, we haven't stopped yet, so that's a good thing. I'm taking it that the kids are being pretty good in the car behind me with Lindsay, hopefully. But we're gonna see how far we can get today. Um, we're shooting for Paducah, Kentucky, which I think is about seven hours from where we're at now. I mean, driving straight through, that would put us at 5.30 p.m. With the stops, I'm guessing it's probably gonna be more like 6.30 or 7. I know that Lindsay doesn't really wanna drive in the dark much, so we'll see how far we get. We're gonna take our time, be safe, and make sure that we get the good rest so that we can have a good day driving tomorrow too. 
The problem with not already having a hotel booked is that we don't, first off, know where we're going to stay, so we don't know where we would book it. Now, we've ran into it before where on our drives back and forth from Florida to Wisconsin, we never know where we're going to stay. We've ran into it where sometimes you can't find a hotel. There's no hotels with vacancy. We're hoping that's not the case here. Um, being a holiday weekend, who knows what's going to happen. Keep you guys updated. All right, we're stopping for gas somewhere in Illinois. It's a lot more expensive here than it was in Wisconsin. I think in Wisconsin we paid 304 a gallon. It's like 339 a gallon here in Illinois. So for some reason, the pump maxed me out on the U-Haul at about 76 in gas. Uh, I think the Suburban took about 56. And it's actually colder here, guys, in Illinois than it was when we left in Wisconsin this morning. It's freezing. But we're gonna make some sandwiches now and be back on our way. Happy Thanksgiving, we got turkey deli meat. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, from our family to yours. This is us making turkey sandwiches in a U-Haul. All right, all said and done between bathroom breaks, lunch, and filling up with gas. We only spent about a half an hour there, and now we're back on the road. Let's go. So we just had to pull over because Lindsay says she saw something flapping in the wind in the car. And I can see we got a piece of trim coming off there, and I can't get it back on. It's like we're maybe missing a clip or something now. So we're gonna have to drive with it the way it is and hopefully it doesn't fly off. And at the next stop, we'll have to get some tape and try to tape it on until I can do a repair. Ah, the joys of road trips, right? YouTube magic once again, guys. We kind of got uh, sidetracked a little bit last night. It is now the next day. We didn't get to film a lot last night, but we made it safely to Nashville, Tennessee. It is now 7.20 in the morning on Black Friday, and we are leaving Nashville and hopefully going to make it all the way to our destination today of Claremont, Florida. So the sun is definitely a welcome sight. Seems like it's been gray skies for I don't know, weeks back in Wisconsin. And now finally today we wake up in Nashville. The sun is shining. We're gonna get to Florida today. It's gonna be a great day. So maybe this is one of you guys moving right here. So one of my favorite parts of the drive from Wisconsin to Florida is going through the Smoky Mountains right outside of Chattanooga. And that's where we are now. Take a look at it guys, it's beautiful. Just um, stopped and had lunch a little bit outside of Atlanta. Temperature feels a little bit warmer. Now it might just be the fact that the sun's out. It says it's actually only 45 degrees, but it does feel warmer, doesn't it Brody? Yeah. We are hoping that we don't run into too much traffic going through uh, downtown Atlanta here. I don't know how many of you guys have ever traveled. We are on I-75 going south. It goes right through the heart of downtown Atlanta and We've had the worst luck with Atlanta. We always seem to get stuck in traffic. With it being Black Friday, we're not sure what that means. If it's gonna be low traffic, if it's gonna be high traffic because people are out shopping. I know most people probably aren't working downtown today, so maybe we'll use that to our advantage and be able to slide right on through there. But check out these sites going through downtown.
I guess this is just getting us ready for that Orlando, Florida traffic. I guess it wasn't so bad. Now that might have been about the easiest that we've ever gotten through Atlanta, Georgia. But I'm no dummy because I've been stuck past Atlanta multiple times. I think we're not out of the woods until we're maybe about an hour out of downtown. So we'll see what the future brings. And just as I suspected, just south of Atlanta, we are stopped on the highway. Yeah, this is not good. Traffic actually started moving. That wasn't as bad as we thought. It was probably only about a 10 minute hold up. So let's hope that's all it is, but traffic's moving. So every time we drive down to Florida, um, we have this contest to see who can find the first palm tree. And I just talked with Lindsay on the phone and we're at like mile marker 92 on I-75 in Georgia. So still 92 miles from the Florida state line. And I just talked with Lindsay on the phone and she told me Miles saw one about five miles back at a hotel. So Miles is the winner this time. I never remember where it's at because it's been like three years since we drove down. But those of you that are making your trip down or if you've made vacation trips down or whatever, let me know, where's the first palm tree that you've seen? How far north is it? 20 miles left to Florida. 15 miles to Florida. 10 miles to Florida. Five miles to Florida. One mile to Florida. Oh my God. Guys, we are so excited to be back in Florida. It's a really good feeling. It really feels like we're truly home now. Um, we got a couple hours left of our drive to get to Claremont, but we're excited to get there tonight. We're gonna stay in a hotel tonight, unpack the U-Haul tomorrow, and then we're home, guys. All right, guys, again, I failed at videoing ourselves last night, getting to the hotel. We got in late, it was dark. Um, I kind of just forgot, we were super tired. Just wanted to lay our heads down for the night, but it is now the next morning, now Saturday. We are in Florida, we are headed to our new house, and we could not be more excited. So we pulled up to our new house, and we look at the front porch, and we see this. This must have been left here by our friends Kyle and Amanda. We got the sign, very creative. Florida was six. Some flowers and of course, a Florida beer. Thanks Kyle and Amanda, you guys are the best. Sully is in heaven, aren't you Sully? Yeah. You already kind finding of, bugs? It kind of looks like a leaf is on his back. I don't know what kind of bug that is. It's like some kind of beetle. It's a big bug though. Now for the fun part, unloading the truck. Right, Miles? So that last clip you saw was our friends Kyle and Marty helping me and Brody unload the truck. Um, thank you so much to them for coming over and helping us out today. That was such a big help. And also thank you to Marty's wife, Suzette, for holding on to Bo and dealing with him so that Lindsay and I could get the house set up. It was such a huge help. What's up guys? It is now Sunday morning. If you've been watching since the very beginning, we left our house Thursday morning. So we're day four now into our move. We're moved into our new house. Um, 
boxes everywhere, but we've been putting stuff away. We've been spending a lot of time unpacking already today. There's going to be many more videos of us giving you information about moving to Florida. There's gonna be all of our adventures. Lindsay and I are already talking about getting back into our lives starting this week, maybe next week. We'll see how things go. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.